Hi, everybody. Welcome to Below the Bonnet. We are back, and along with myself, we have the beautiful David Reynolds. Thank you, Colin. Beautiful. 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 Look at him today. That's an, that's the an camera's on. Everyone knows that's a lie. <laughs> I've got my thongs on, too. I feel we're, at home. We're back, boys. We're finally back, and we're, um, you know, it's, ex- it's exciting to actually be in the room with some other people. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this is oh, a dude, disturbing distance here I'll tell you right now I don't know what's going on It's just Everyone's losing their shit It's, it's so full on It's chaotic out there I it's don't know It's like Like if you, if you were to wake up After having been in a coma And then you'd see the carry on And what's going on You'd think there'd people Dying in the street And there's zombies out there But it's nothing like that It's, it's kind of crazy times It's just I mean, so bizarre Who would have thought uh, You know Everybody going Worrying about going to lockdown, that you're going to have to fight over toilet paper, not food. No, that's just dickheads. Paper. That's not just that's just dickheads. Well, it doesn't give you the run. Why are they stock? I don't get understand it why people are stocking runs, up. Haven't they realised that if we do go in lockdown, like the one thing that will be open is shops. You know, like yeah, base bare essentials will be open. Yeah, yeah. supermarkets. Hopefully, my plumber in case I don't have hot water or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. I haven't thought <laughs> yeah, that far ahead. still electricity. <laughs> yeah, I'll hope we so. We won't be having fires and stuff. Yeah, hope my internet connections. Really good. <laughs> yeah, actually, that that is one thing you do need. I did hear in um in Italy that everyone's been given like a a Pornhub premium subscription. Yeah, you know that? yeah, is that true? It, uh, that I've heard that as well. It's pretty gross. <laughs> what, what does I assume you're an expert on such matters, Reynolds? What's the premium do that non premium? <laughs> yeah, does? What, what's the difference between premium and non premium? Is mate? saving searches on there or what's the um? Game? To be honest, I don't know. If I was to guess, you probably get extra content. <laughs> <laughs> you get That's a pretty good guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, don't <laughs> I really don't know. It's um it is crazy times at the moment though, isn't it, boys? Mm. And um one thing that was pretty crazy was the AGP oh, which yeah. we were all at ABL bizarre. was um yeah. he wasn't down in the support category class, I can guarantee you that right now with everything going on. Um but we actually we've been fortunate enough to um have Andrew Westercott available to us. So yes. we're we're give actually gonna buzz. give him a buzz. And, uh, and have a chat about what actually unfolded, particularly on that Friday, because we, we rolled into the weekend. Um, you know, we all went out on Thursday, practiced, qualified. Um, you did, you did a couple, only a couple of qualifying sessions. So yep. um, it was all about to kick off. But um, I guess let's just speak to him and see actually from his side, because um, we can discuss a bit later how, you know, it unfolded What happened? Yeah, let's give him a buzz. But, um, but I really like this guy. He's such a legend. Very good talker. Tough time. I mean, oh, to, super to tough be in time. charge, isn't it? Let's I mean, see. effectively. Let's see if you can answer his phone. <laughs> you ringing, mate? I am ringing. Something's gone amiss here. <laughs> this this, this is good with live TV. This is no good. It's <laughs> no good. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> that doesn't sound good he's, at all. Maybe that he's sounds, rejected your call. That sounds terrible. I'll see if I can. It was such, it was a very very strange time because you, you guys were basically all ready to go, yeah, all I was suited up ready, and it just didn't happen for you. Yeah, Here I was in box ringing. Oh, finally. you got reception. Paid your phone bill. I paid my phone bill. Someone's still working at Telstra. Good day, Dave. Hey, G'day, and, Andrew. How's it going? It's uh, boys from below yeah, the bonnet. Go down, so you can hear quiet. us. You can hear us all right. <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Andrew, uh, thanks for coming on the show, mate. I know it's um. We're we're going through some crazy times at the moment, but uh, you know, last week was was obviously a very busy week, um, you know, for for yourself and everybody in the AGP team. So uh, I guess we yeah we just wanted to um, have a chat and you know I guess get your point of view of you know how things unfolded, particularly last Friday. Absolutely. So tell me when you want to start. Do you want to start right now? Was it that was already it? Yeah, mate. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're going, going, we're going mate. We're live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yep. Okay. Um. Well, let's get. Uh, Keep kicking again with your intro and um and we're into it absolutely. Yep. Sorry about that. No, you're right, mate. Yeah, like I said, we just want, wanted to get a get an idea of how things went for you last Friday um, at the AGP because uh, you know for me in particular, I was in my race suit ready to go in uh, in TCR. We're about to have our first race, so um, you know we saw the you know the crowds out the front trying to uh, more prepared to come in and uh, and then obviously. Got the call that uh, the event was going to be cancelled, but you know, we want. I guess we wanted to give uh, give you the opportunity to explain us from your point of view or what was happening that we couldn't see um, that was going on. Well, the um, it's a situation, I guess, the world over that uh, no one's going to win out of a an exercise like this, and 
it's an ever evolving, ever emerging, and every ever changing, you know, virus. And if you look at the uh, the landscape a week earlier or five days earlier, there was eighty six thousand people going to a cricket game at the MCG. Um, we were right on the cusp at the Grand Prix, and then a week later, people have got the ability to to cancel events into the future, whether it be the Masters Golf or or future Grand Prix around the world. And um, the timing was probably the perfect storm, but it was anything but perfect for all the, the teams, you know, whether it's supercars or TCR or the staff at the Grand Prix Corporation, our suppliers, our sponsors, and the fans who were outside the gate when lots of decisions were being made. And, um, you know, I thought uh, homologation was a hard word to uh, learn about when I got into the world of motorsport, but <laughs> epidemiology is even a bit harder. And um, it's, it's an unbelievably tough situation but it's the right situation and when you wake up in the morning and you know that you've you, you as a team uh, and everyone involved has made the right decision as as frustrating as it was at the time um you know you you, you feel you feel that uh, as sad as it is that's something that had to be done and what was happening was that we had to take input on these sorts of things from the, the chief health officer um, who's part of the Victorian government under the Department of Health and Human Services. That particular individual feeds up into a cohort of chief health officers around the country. The FIA's involved, the team's involved, Formula One's involved, the Victorian government's involved, and then there's time zones which aren't necessarily conducive to making decisions when we had the event going on the Thursday, but things changed overnight on, on Thursday night, and that's why there was... Sadly, some frustration for the fans at the gates and, you know, them amongst everyone who's travelled and the participants like you guys, um, as well as our staff, that's who I feel for. Mm. Yeah, it's very, very bizarre. I I actually blame Lewis Hamilton for everything. Because <laughs> 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 he come out on, was it Thursday or something, and basically said, why are we here? This is a, you know, we should all be at home. And then the next day it was yeah. all cancelled, so I'm blaming him. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I've learned in this uh, that everyone everyone's entitled to their opinions and some of the things, as you know, in, in motorsport, you just can't compromise on on safety. And um, mm. Australia's a different environment than you know, north of north of the equator. And um, because of the, the strong position that the Australian government had taken, it was very, very minor outbreaks. I mean, you look at the graphs and the uplifting cases and so on, they were sort of uh, you know, around the unfortunate timing of when the Grand Prix was going to be. So Lewis had a view based on a lot of you know, occurrences in, in England, Spain, France, Germany, and, and particularly Italy. But the environment here, particularly, I go back to the, the cricket five days beforehand, was a completely different situation and we yeah. would never jeopardise the safety of anyone. Mm. But, um, you know, it was the safety at the end of the day that was the thing that made the call with input from the health officer and then Formula One because of McLaren, one of their people testing positive. And we hope that person's recovering, and I believe they are. Uh, Andrew, it's Andrew Van Leeuwen here. Um, how was oh, how, how, how um, it personally for you? You seemed quite uh, emotional when you were taking part in that press conference with Chase Carey on, uh, on the on the Was Friday. that Colonel Sanders? It's a Colonel Sanders. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, Dave being Dave. Um, <laughs> how were you going at that point, mate? Like, what a what a difficult thing to go through. You seem quite emotional. What's the personal toll when when you're effectively responsible for an event like that? How was that? Um, well, you know the they were the, the nights were getting later and later and later, and therefore the amount of sleep was getting shorter and shorter. Mm-hmm. You know. You guys know what it's like coming into big events. The uh, adrenaline kicks in and you uh, you get into gear. Um, but uh, team team and those people you work with and the things you care about um, do touch nerves. And we finished up at about I don't know the last the last call and communication was about two thirty on um, Friday morning. Got a, got some sleep until about six, um, and uh, then we're back back into it. And the thing I was upset for was the fans, the, all the race participants, um, and particularly the staff and suppliers because you know, they've worked for 12 months. They've done these new things. Some, some people have been with us for 15 years. Some have been with us for 15 months, and they all wanted to sort of open up the house to, to show it to, to the world, and then that was ripped out from underneath them. And uh, 
the, the, the toll on this is not only just at event time, but there's lots and lots of suppliers who are going to do it uh, tough as a result of the events industry in Victoria and nationally being being decimated. And so now what we're going to do is, is work with people. But, that, Andrew, that's why the sort of emotion came out, because I was thinking about the people who I love working with, and you guys would know it in, in race teams. Yeah. You, you build a bond. Yeah, and I think it's a, that's something that is important to think about is the fact that everyone says, well, these millionaire race car drivers just wanted their payday. It's not hey, about hey, that. Hey, There's hey. more. No, I'm not talking about it. Well, you are the richest <laughs> bloke I know. <laughs> um, but it's it, it's more about the fact that, you know, stopping a sport doesn't just stop these guys from going racing. It's an industry. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's lots of, lot people of people affected, and on. most of them aren't millionaires. Most of them are small business owners or just normal people trying to work in an industry, and they're affected when stuff like this happens. And I guess that's... Uh, that's what we're all probably about to realise. Yeah, and I guess, Andrew, yeah. the one thing I wanted to ask, though, um, because when we were sitting uh, in park for Matt, well, basically in the pre-grid to drive out for TCR, um, a photographer brought over a photo of Lewis Hamilton already at the airport, and I think it was like around 8.30 or something, showing us that. Yeah. How much did that come into play when, you know, all these decisions were getting made, you know, sort of around that time? Because, you know, I was pretty surprised that, that he would already have left, um, you know, with you know, with us sort of being at the track already. Well, you know, I, I, that's the first time I've heard about the, the Lewis Hamilton one. Um, but uh, we didn't, we didn't know, we didn't know that some of the teams. I think there was another one that was a manifest of uh, a, a flight leaving Melbourne pretty early. I think at six a.m. on Friday morning, and it had Seb, Seb Bertel and Kimi Raikkonen yeah, on that, that well, manifest. Yeah. Now we didn't, we didn't know that. We certainly knew that. But me that um, that there was some um, views of the teams, but those are team things that then needed to be ratified and finalised via discussions with with FIA and John Todd and Formula One and Chase Carey. And one of the things was that Chase Carey was on a plane from Vietnam at the particular time when all this is happening. So we didn't even know that the teams had decided that they were going to head off. But oh, okay. um, we certainly, uh, when we we had further meetings in the morning, and those meetings were held at you know, 8.30, 9.30, 10 o'clock, and we announced the cancellation at, um, I think it was 10.07 exactly, and we had the press conference. So the frustrating thing was that marshals were out on post, people like Michael were behind the wheel and kitted up for TCR. There were fans at the gate, and there's never good timing, but, no. you know, you've got to go through processes and you've got to let people know and do things in a particular order when there's, there's big business, but also um, decisions that are the right decisions at the end of the day. Yeah. So, so when the so when the communication went out at sort of seven thirty or whatever to say the event was going ahead at that point, it was going ahead. That was the right communication at the right time because that's probably something that has drawn a bit of criticism was that the messaging was quite mixed on the on the actual morning. Well, I think what we yeah, at, at that point in time we we were still in dialogue with the the health department and so on, and there there were a yeah. number of different scenarios. And you know, without going into chapter and verse, you know, you look at it with the footy season and. In different footy seasons, some go ahead with crowds, some go ahead without crowds. There's considerations of whether you you go ahead with um, without Formula One and everyone else, or whether you ultimately you know take take all the inputs. And we had to, at the end of the day, take all the inputs. But all of these things have been compressed within you know an hour or three. And um, unfortunately, you've got to decide the complete outcome before telling people and therefore what we what we did was let people know that there would be a delay to gate gate opening at you know i think it was about 8 42 and they were, they were going to open at 8 45 and other things we we had to advise the right thing to people at the right time guys and uh yeah that's sort of the way it panned out but you know you end of the day you look at what the right decision was yes it's frustrating and um i apologize again to people who were inconvenienced and not just the ones at the gate there were those people who traveled from interstate and overseas that we just haven't heard from who have had to cop it on the chin. Well, Andrew, um, no one envies the position that you're in. And um, thanks for your time today. And, and it, look, I think, you know, with all the considerations of what you had to deal with and, and your team, um, I think you guys have done a good job. It's always been a fantastic event. It's mm. It's been one of my favourites. Yeah, it's um, one of my favourites for the year. So, um, you know, we look forward to, to getting back there next year and, um, well, and getting on with it. We- We've got two. We've got two bites at the cherry for our twenty fifth race, and we want TCR back there. We want um, supercars back there. We want um, Formula One to be showcased. But it's going to be uh, going to be a changed environment for the next 
for every every bit of motorsport and every bit of world sport. So, yeah, definitely, you know, we're promising to bounce back, um, and there's a lot of things that we're going to have to do in a in a very unique change changed environment but thanks for the podcast guys it's really enjoyable nah, thanks so much for thanks coming for on coming love on. you heaps you're a legend speak to you soon no worries cheers see you bro thanks mate what a legend that was nice of him to take yeah, that call I really yeah. like him he's such a good guy he's a great communicator yeah, he likes so to uh, he likes to be on the front foot with things mm. as a journalist I love the fact that I don't think I've ever spoken to him and he hasn't tried to facilitate whatever story you're trying to work on he'll try and get it for you you know yeah. Like, yeah, how, he's great at that how was he when we did that um the, was it the AGP opening when we did Dodgem cars? Oh, yeah, he Luda couldn't Park. wait. He was climbing no, no, over the fence to get in. No, 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 but then there was like a few journos in there because there was an announcement come out that morning that a, that the tram people were going to oh, go on. Oh, that's right. Yep. They were going to go on strike or something and there was yep. journos in the crowd hammer him, just berating him about yep. the whole thing and he just played it off so well and spoke like yeah. to a T. It was like impressive. Yeah, but it wasn't like shutting it down. He doesn't go, oh, no, that's not a thing. No, no, he gives his he opinion. He goes, well, here's what I think about it. And yeah. there were stories that come out of it. Yeah, it was like it would be stupid if those guys, like, you know, on the world stage, shut down that service and make Australia look like fools. Yep. It was actually brilliant. No, he, he speaks really well. Amazing that that was something that we were worried about. <laughs> I like, know. It's a madness. Yeah, I that know, was yeah. like, we were worried about tramps. We were worried about whether people were going to be yeah. able to get to the event yeah, or not. <laughs> I mean, there was we, one question in that, that press conference about coronavirus. Was there it, really? And it was like, but it was about, like, the impact of, uh, of, uh, of tourism from Asia. Yeah, okay. I mean, we Far spoke out. about on it. crowds. We you spoke know, about crazy. it with Brian. Remember, you know, yeah. we were talking about, is the, you know, how's it going to go ahead? And, and I think I suggested, you know, is it going to go ahead without fans? It's funny, he even did mention a few of the footy codes. So obviously, they're a bit mixed. You know, we saw NRL have um, kick off their season with crowds, even after, yeah. you know, basically everything that had been going post the AGP. Um, and now AFL, uh, they're about to kick off without, um, without anybody. So it's, it is a little bit mixed. Out mm. there, I mean, uh, let's say ninety-five or ninety-eight percent of sports have shut down, basically. Mm, yep. um, not just here, but obviously worldwide. You know, there's putting on postponed events, and uh, I know Slady was um, was online saying, you know, he was just about to run at Le Mans. Yeah, it would have been uh, yeah. Le Mans debut. And, yeah. Looking forward to it. And, and now got it's down. yeah, it's clashing with yep. um with the <laughs> with the five hundred yeah. well, potentially at, at the, the moment. Five. Yeah, because I mean, the supercars calendar is going to end up looking a lot different at the yeah. back end of the year. I hope you know if we get to a point where we go racing. So that's so that that date for the five hundred could move, um, but there's just every chance that everything's going to clash at the end of the year because I think there's going to be so few available weekends to go and actually get this racing done all over the world. So it's hard to imagine there's going to be many free weekends where you know, yeah, where know. you're going to be able to be go fly to yeah. Europe and go racing. Very, very it's, hectic. It's funny. But I mean, there's... Well, sorry, go, Dave. Um, on, on the AGP front, before we move on from that, it was re- uh, it was really strange for me because I woke up sort of thinking that Friday morning that it will it'll get cancelled and then I heard the f- two-seater f- uh, Formula 1 car yeah. go around. I'm like, oh, no, it's probably still on. I'll, I'll get up and go to the track. Um, and, you know, just waiting, waiting, waiting. I had friends coming in and they're like, are we allowed in? Or there was an announcement on the radio or something that they banned fans. I'm like, no, 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 I think it's still good. I got, I got word. Yep. In my camp, saying it was all good, you know, fans still allowed in. And then, about half an hour after they text me that, I rang them back and said, "Oh, don't bother coming. It's been <laughs> denied access to fans." And then you guys were about to go on the track, and then our, our session was just after you guys. And then um, everyone was getting ready, putting their suit on and stuff. And I'm like, "Ain't going to happen today." Yeah. No, nah, I didn't even bother putting my suit on. Right. Everyone was ready to go, and I'm like, "Nah, it's not going to happen." There was a lot of like chatter at the back of pit lane, a lot of like uncertainty or this kind of vibe I was picking up on. I'm like, "Ain't happening today." So. I didn't it, even bother. It's funny, it did have and that vibe. I mean, that as a day... It was like that someone died. It was that sort of vibe, yeah. like when something really, really bad um, on track happens. Yeah. That sort mm-hmm. of uncertain yeah. vibe at the back of pit lane and no one's going on. There's a lot of phone calls being made, a lot of people running around. Yep. And you're like, nah, it's not, it's called off. I mean, we were obviously one of the first on track, well, planned to be one of the first on track. So we were suited up at, I think I was suited up about 8.30 because we, I think we were going at 9 o'clock, I think. Mm. You guys so had cars warmed up and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, so we were grit, like basically ready to form up to go yeah. in the pre-grid. Um, and, you know, we were walking around. Everybody was ready to go. And then we got to the point where, you know, because they normally tell us, you know, put your helmet on, you know, get ready 15 minutes before we get going just in case they call you a bit earlier. Mm. So you had a bunch of drivers sort of having their helmets on. Then you had a few just sort of not, uh, you know, I couldn't see them. And then all of a sudden everyone's sitting out on the grass. It was really weird vibe, you know. There yeah, was, it was super And it was weird. starting to get to the point where people were like, 
I don't know if we should be racing. You know, people yeah, are actually yeah, even questioning it yeah, if we yeah, should yep. be racing because yep. there's no every, fans here. Why do we race yeah, to draw a cool. crowd for entertainment? Yeah. Well, that's not happening. Well, then mm. what's the point of work? What's what? What are we going to do? No, that's right. And, and then and there was there was chat about Formula One. They left. They were they were taking. Well, they they said they're cancelled and they were going to try and run supercar. And then there was a bit of a deal trying to happen between TV and. Well, our TV and, and Formula One TV because it was Formula One cameras, and then you know, obviously, is this Form- in the on Friday morning? Yeah, on Friday morning. This this was all happening. Like, Jeez. the little chatters out a bit out of back out the back of pit lane was crazy. Like, there was yeah. so many, um, so much going on. It was hard to sort of keep track of what was going on. But but, but could the event go on without Formula One? I mean, AVL probably What's the you point? were the best because you were you were in the F one paddock. Yeah, could it, it have gone on? The 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 weird thing is there was kind of this. Um, well, I mean, obviously, without fans, yeah, that's how the only way it probably would have gone on. There was this massive disconnect between what was happening in the supercars paddock and what was happening in the Formula One paddock, or not yep. so much what was happening, but the vibe. So all the guys in the F one paddock had just come off long haul flights. They'd flown through the Middle East or they'd flown through Asia, and yeah. they were all no one wanted to be there. Yeah, okay. And everyone was seemed so acutely aware of how bad the situation was, and I guess we'd probably been quite sheltered. Because at that point, I'd, I mean, th- th- remember when we were talking with Ryan Walkinshaw about whether this thing was going to happen or not, it wasn't about social distancing. No. And it wasn't about gatherings of over, fine, over 500 <laughs> people. Yeah. It was about whether whether the Ferrari staff yeah, were going to be right. able to get all, into the country. You're right. That's all, all. That was only Italy. that was the only concern. Are we going to shut the borders to Italy? Let alone shut the borders to everywhere. Mm. Let alone all the stuff that's happened since then. So it was an entirely different conversation and things have changed so much since then but all the europeans they were a step ahead you know they yeah, knew they that, that 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 was the next step and they're sitting there going this is crazy we should not be here yeah okay um and then when you walked through those gates at the end of f1 pit lane and you walked into supercars land where you know two weeks ago we'd been at adelaide having a good time like life was good it was yeah it, it was bizarre yeah, it, it was, was so bizarre. bizarre. Yeah, it was I don't just, there was a big there was a big difference, and now I sort of understand what all those guys were feeling because that's yeah, where we are now. Where yeah. now? That's right. Well, the way I look at it is like you know, if if one person was to get infected and they double the rate of infection every day, how long does it take to get to a million people? How long does it take? I don't know. You're doing the math here. Twenty one days. That's all it takes to, to a infect million. a million people if you double the rate of infection every day. So if I give you, let's say, if I give you a dollar. And then I'd give you $2 the next day, then $4 the next day, and then $8, yep. then 16 32 I'd rather that than infected. Yeah, so it, that's, it's <laughs> 21 days before you get over that's, a million dollars. Yeah, it's well, crazy. Well, look how fast this stuff's happening. Yeah, that's, well, that's what they changing. talk about. You're right. It's changing every day. Every day you feel like you, you, you either turn your phone it's on changing or turn hour. the TV on and be like, okay, what's, what's new for today? There'll what be are we doing? something different when we walk out of here after filming Yeah, there'll be something yeah. different. Exactly. Something will have changed. Exactly. It's, um, yeah, it's, I mean, yeah. It's disappointing. I mean, I know you probably would have been a little bit relieved for at least one of the qualifying sessions, though, because <laughs> you went shit <laughs> out. Oh, mate, I went so bad. <laughs> what happened oh, no. there, mate? I looked at it and went, what's going oh, on? I, I, you know, there's, a, there's a timing loop at the back of, um, uh, is it turn 12, the fast mm-hmm. the yep. fast right-hander, and I got a bit oversteer through that corner and went over their line of imaginary importance and got my lap deleted, so I had to go again, and then your lap is basically terrible because your tyres are off. They don't yeah. produce much grip. They're over over pressured everything. So it's funny, it's one lap really. Yeah, you get, it? it's, you it's get basically you have four we have four qualifying sessions, four new sets of tyres, it's four one lap dashes. That's all it is. Yep. The next lap I was seventeenth. I got balked a little bit by Mostert, but you know, at the end of the day it didn't matter. Yeah. And I was like uh, after the race I'd well, sorry, after that qualifying session I was so gutted. And I swore on TV, which I got reprimanded for. I didn't get fined. Thank you very much, Supercars, for that. I love you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what was the fine going to be? Oh, who knows? Probably a million dollars, knowing them. <laughs> well, it might be at the moment. <laughs> yeah. they might need did you it. actually get let off or did they um, just well, they, not bring it up? I guess no, it was they, just I, I had much a talk, bigger I had a talk to Yeah, they were obviously dealing with a lot of other yeah. stuff. And I had a, I had a, they, they talked to me. They come and spoke to me about it. And Who comes and speaks to you? Um, Who's the representative for that? James, the new guy. Okay. Yeah, he's actually really cool. Really like him. Really good guy. Um, you do now, yeah. I mean, no, no, but like he's just you know he's just a very very good guy. I really like him. Do you actually went so when I was watching, I actually went back. I was like, that was just some stone cold swearing there because you kind of seemed really. It wasn't like heat of the moment. You seemed to just say it. But do you honestly are you just not thinking about the fact you're swearing there, wait, or did you do it on wait purpose? A minute. You knew there were supercars and other support categories there that weekend because yes, let's not Michael. forget AVL was 
Too busy, bunk it up down in uh, in F1 luxury. Land. Oh land. no, I was in coronavirus HQ over in the. Uh, in the <laughs> Did you get tested? Paddock. Yeah, actually, I have have not you been, been tested. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, your game. I well, know, and I shared a car with him on the yeah, way out. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Here. My life's over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm self quarantining. Um, How yeah. busy am I going to be Sorry, cleaning mate. my house for four days? <laughs> Taking the piss on you. <laughs> we're going to have to come. We're going to have to stay together. So, what was the question? You said something. No, so, like, did you? Was that really just an accident, or did you know? You knew you were swearing, right? Oh, mate, it's just an accident. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I say <laughs> fuck, like it's an accident. He, uh, just like when he swears on you. It's an well, accident. I said, I said, fucking shit in the same sentence, and they yeah. said, oh, that's not good. But like, yeah. you know, I do it from an entertainment perspective. <laughs> Well, I think you don't. I don't, I don't think it's that it. bad. It's language. It's just a word. It doesn't. It, I, I don't see it as a bad thing. It's funny. But I've grown up against. I've grown up with mechanics. But twenty years ago, or maybe even less. Maybe not twenty. Maybe forty years ago, shit would have been considered bad. The, word, the worst know? thing. Yeah, yeah. I know. And, but and on, it all evolves. And it was all on Foxtel, I think. Not on. If it was on free to air, I think it's a different problem. Ooh. I think that's where the problem arises. Where on Foxtel, you know, they still allowed. Um, cigarette sponsorship to be shown. So when they show old footage, Do they that? don't. Well, they don't have to blur it out. But if it went to free to wear, they have to sort of blur it out. If you watch all the Bathurst um, telecast oh, the, stuff, yep, like yep. the replays, or you know they do the oh, yeah. the yeah. the the opener broadcast and stuff, and they show old footage there on Channel Ten per se, they have to blur out the the Marlboro sponsorship. But on Foxtel, uh, it just runs as is, which is cool. As I rate that, yeah, because that's one of the most that's, ridiculous things in the world. Yeah, having to blank ridiculous. that stuff out, like. No one, no kid watches, you know, a replay of the 1979 Bathurst 1000. I want a Peter Stuyvesant. Yeah, I can't wait to <laughs> just start charring back on a Marlboro. <laughs> yeah. But that's just not going to happen. <laughs> no, no. I understand, like, banning advertising in general, but doing that. Mate, that always right. annoys me. Do you know what, Abiel? That is probably the most controversial thing you've, you've ever, ever said. said on this show. <laughs> <laughs> that we, we finally, we've broken him, everybody. He's, he's Look, the end of, it's the end of the world. Fuck <laughs> it. <That's, laughs> Do you ever swear? No, I've sworn the? before. I've sworn no, you, before. But you, you, <laughs> you've lost the plot. But you guys what know. But you guys know that I'm an Olympic level swearer in real life. I just try to keep it professional <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> <I can't>. <laughs> <laughs> he's really done it. He's gone, done it. Are no, no, you hoarding gone. toilet paper? That was yeah. no, no. But that was after uh, after we did the uh, the drunk cast at the end of last season. Someone put on Twitter something about me swearing, and I was like, "Mate, if this guy, I'm like the biggest concern I've got now is that my son is starting to repeat things that my wife and I say, <laughs> and that's going to be a real problem because he's going to come out with some." Pretty colourful stuff. German, some really German point, swear words? Yeah, both both languages. <laughs> That's it. We did some good German swearing on the walk we did. pod, actually. Yeah. We had oh, we had some great feedback from that that show. And, and I can't play, believe people listen for that long. It was what a else lot where most of it was nonsense. Hey mate, what are they gonna do now? What are we I all know. gonna do? I know. We got well, they, months I, I, and months and months. I upskilled them on koalas' penises. <laughs> What is that? What you're talking about? <laughs> no. no, that was what like last year. Oh no! What are you guys? Oh, I sort oh, of had a minute. Mate, I'm you, you're having moments I'm going, already. I'm going you've home. got, you've yeah, got it's it now. <laughs> ABL's given it to you. It's um, yeah. no, it is. It, yeah. What It'll, would you do for 14 days if you had to self quarantine? What would you do? Didn't we speak about this and we said if you had to, we had to do a podcast for the whole time. That was that. We could do more of these definitely. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, we're gonna need to do something. But let's, look, I mean, yeah, it, 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 there's obviously lots happened since. I mean, I know I was pretty excited to go racing, starting next to my good friend Garth Tander out of, uh, out of the front row. That would have been, I'm, I'm, I know our good friend Tony Cochran was pretty excited to watch that. Was he? Watch the lawnmowers, as he calls well, them. The lawnmowers, he's a funny <laughs> well, man. So right? where, where did you qualify? Are you, you're kidding me. Oh, I honestly didn't say you're, it. You're a joke. He was on pole, mate. <laughs> I, I won the first race. <laughs> <laughs> he was on pole. He, everyone else sandbagged. Oh, in, um, classic TCR. But Will classic Brown didn't, TCR. and then he got done just before qualifying. He had to put in like 30 kilos of weight. They, yeah, they, oh, because pr- I did see in practice, he was like miles ahead miles of, he was in front like, of everyone. I think in the first session, he was over a second faster than yeah, everybody. It was like t- yeah. yeah, one and a half seconds. And then <laughs> everyone else is sandbagged, and he's and just going, up, oh, bugger it. Yeah, he, well, he was about four seconds faster than me in the first session. <laughs> 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 were, you, do you, were you trying? Actually, you're probably not allowed to answer. No, no, like I was just cruising around. I, I, so you weren't trying, wasn't trying. Well, I wasn't qualifying. So you weren't trying. Well, who who, tri- who tries in practice? Oh, f- dude, every time I do a Mate, lap, I'm just spoke flat about out. this before. I'm taken after Wink Up. You know, how many years have you seen Wink Up try in practice? Yeah, never. Exactly. He's the ultimate chiller. <laughs> He's the most successful motor racing driver <laughs> yeah. in Australia. Oh, no. He builds <laughs> up to it over a weekend. Bugger that guy. <laughs> 
actually, we actually spoke to him about coming on. He would have stayed. He would have come on if he would have. He would have. I'm, yeah, I'm sitting here hearing a would have. Would have. Yeah, this, we're, our, our sports <laughs> full of would have. He could have come down. What well, we mean for the next couple of months. Mm. Let's get him in. So Do what's you reckon he, does he listen to our show? Did you ask him genuinely if he listens at the car wash? Nah, definitely not. They could play the I'm podcast at the car him. wash. <laughs> we could yeah, sell it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he got plenty. <laughs> um, what's going on with supercars now? Like, well, what is it? We're we're in a test ban, aren't we? So, I, from what I can understand, well, I think workshops will be most workshops will probably shut down for a little while. Are you guys shutting down? I think we're shutting down. Yeah, yeah. for a couple of weeks. Just yeah. until all this filters out. Um, it makes sense to try and bowl over some leave and days in lieu and whatever for, for hard working, you know, hard travelling people, yeah. guys and girls. Yep. Yeah. A lot of speaking sick days of, owing. Well, speaking of hard travelling, I mean, we're obviously at this stage not coming back. This is in supercars at least. Not coming back till June, yep. which is Winton. Allegedly, yeah, they're going to try. Um, and there's no testing between now and then as well, which I think is a good move. Yep. Uh, but... That really does, if we do come back at that stage, it means it's going to be flat out. It's going to be back-to-back yeah. back motorsport. Like it's, oh, no, it's yeah. going to be I mean, if so you love busy. motorsport, or any sport probably for that matter. How, how are on. they fit the calendar in? Because there's, there's probably a, there's still a lot of they have to work out, I assume. So. That is a great question. I, and I have don't an answer. Know. You I have, have an, an answer? answer for this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This would be brilliant. I, I, think, I think what we need to do, because I, I can't see us – and this is not because I don't want it to be, but I can't see us having fans at the track for a while. June, you reckon? Right? You reckon which, it's going to last that long? I, I think. Well, it's from what what I'm hearing, the peak isn't coming till May. Really? It's coronavirus. So June, you would think, is going to be out of the question yep. of having race fans or having more than 500 people, let's say, yep. at a racetrack. Um, and how many people does Supercars need to run their show? Well. It depends who you ask, but it'd be over a thousand. You reckon? Well, what about just supercars? Wow, not, that, you know, you're yeah. talk you're probably talking about all the support categories as well. What about just supercars? So there's seven people per car to run the car. You don't need marketing people, they're not essential, do you? Well, they're they in a market. There'll be no sponsors. No, there. but they can do their job from home. <laughs> yeah. Same with yep. same with most journos, they could probably do their job from home. Watching on T V. Yep. Ringing us up going, Hey, give us a quote. I'm like, Yeah, no worries. You wouldn't answer. Not Andrew. He gave, yeah, well, he he gave you coronavirus on the way right. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be quarantined in the race car yeah. with you by then. <laughs> yeah, but no, then what, like, what if, what if, like, say, it all goes ahead, we're going racing. Um, with or without fans. With or without fans, it doesn't matter. Say without fans, and then yeah. a driver gets coronavirus. What happens Shuts then? down, that's it. That's or the do they just replace him and then they keep going? Well, no, because everyone he came in contact with, sort of like the McLaren situation, isn't it? Yeah. You know, everyone yeah. they come in contact yeah. with, it just drops that whole race team out, basically. Yeah. I heard it was Sainz that got... Sainz. Carlos Sainz that got the... He self-quarantined, He got he? tested and got negative. Oh, did he? But then yeah. he went into self-quarantine anyway. Yeah. But it's it, the, it's not going to come back until this thing is so far on the decline that yeah. it's not that's not an issue. I agree. That's the only way. I mean, at the, look, I know we've got this June target and that's all well and good, but within five minutes of that uh, press release going out... There was the prime minister was on TV saying these measures are going to be in place for at least six months. Yeah. So six months isn't June. Six months is six months from yesterday <coughs> is like the Thursday before the uh, the five hundred of the yeah. event. Mm. So that's and that's that's the best case scenario. I think oh, it's remarkably yeah. optimistic to think that we'll just be going racing then. I, I think well. you're right. I think they've jumped the gun with making announcements on something oh, that nobody... And I, I know but there's a bit of pressure. People want to know what's going on. But the reality is we're, we're in a scenario. We're in, we're in something that no one's lived through before. We're in a bloody yeah. movie at the minute. Well, aren't we? We're, we're, we're in a sci-fi movie. Contagion. Yeah. Have you seen Contagion? No, I haven't. No. I mean, I know I everyone says go article. watch it. It's really good because it's exactly what's But what I'm saying now. is, is you know, we're, we're living through something that no one knows how it's going to pan out. I mean, we're sort of in a situation at the moment where a little bit of a crystal ball where we can see places like Italy or Europe, what's going on there because we're a couple yeah. of weeks behind them. So we can sort of see the, a little bit of the future, but not not no. three months. Uh, so I think they have, I think you're right. I think they've jumped the gun with putting a date. I don't think they've the jumped break. the gun. At the end of the day, you can't, you have to have something to work towards and you can't just True. cancel everything as well. No. You know? So I understand True. that doing it in stages is what's going to happen. It's what's going to happen in all aspects of life as this thing continues to yep. develop but it's about whether you know like i'm not i'm not going to book my accommodation for winton just yet because it just doesn't feel like a thing that's going to happen you know like i just think probably that hold off i, I, I well, understand I, why they've why they've cancelled it in stages but 
I personally just can't see us going racing until yeah, September seems to be the sort of mark that even in Europe that everyone's going right. You know, Le Mans got rescheduled for September. Yeah. And MotoGP is push, trying to push their stuff back towards that sort of September, October, uh, November time. So it seems like that's probably where people are feeling like things might be getting back yeah. to uh, back to normal. But, you know, who knows? Like, no. Who knows? No, and you're right. But, I mean, the thing I thought was interesting, coming out saying we couldn't, supercars couldn't race with fans. I mean, not that we don't want them there, but it really limits how we go forward with the category, doesn't it? I mean, mm. I, I think, and this is what I suggested um, in TCR World, is that we run a race meeting, um, because we're, we're, we can run, it obviously, quite a bit less in terms of personnel at mm. an event. So I think the future for at least the foreseeable future, the next few months, is that we can run a race meeting if we can get away with the numbers and everybody, obviously, you know, the outdoors and all that, being within those rules. But if we can run a race meeting, say, on a Tuesday, because the reason we race on weekends is so race fans can be there. Mm-hmm. We all know that. So if we're not going to have fans there, well, it doesn't really mean we could – we need to be on the weekend or we need yep. to have it sectioned out. So if say we have a race f- completely run, embargo everybody that turns up for the event that, you know, in the paddock. So they no social media, no media outlets, film, f- record the event and then show it, you know, as a delayed, a delayed telecast yep. on a Tuesday night or a Wednesday night. That's not a bad idea, right? It's, get, it's getting the TV time. It's the hard part. Getting oh, prime mate, TV There'll time. be t- plenty. I mean, uh, you think in two months' time, what are they – I mean, how many times can you watch Home and Away – Repeats yeah, but from yeah, they can still make live TV and stuff. Never watched an episode. What Thank live you. TV can they make? Yeah, anything. They're still well, making it right when, now. When everything when everything I mean, ramps back up, there'll be a lot of content. I reckon. Well, there'll be heat. There'll be there'll too, be too much. much. That, but that's why we need. Everyone I think trying to we catch need up to try exactly to do the same. something. Everyone be in the same everybody. position we are, trying to catch up on stuff. So there'll be it'll be they'll footy be matches played all week. Run off the feet. Yeah. So I don't know. Look, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of logistical things to do, but I think I think we're going to run out of TV content. We for sure. They they'd be stressing. It doesn't matter if you're Fox Sports all the way through the free-to-air TV channels. Mm. That there's there's only so much you can put on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and so much you can talk about the coronavirus. I mean, that's yeah. the other thing. Oh, that's on the mental state. Head yeah. in. Is that it? is I mean, doing that's my the other thing. I absolute hate head in. Hearing, yeah. I hate waking up, and I say to Danny all the time, "I love you very much," but don't watch. It, I don't want to watch the news every day. It's <sighs> it's depressing, and you very know. Nice and I think the big thing is, you know, and I don't know people been following our social pages that you know we've been trying, you know. Send us stuff in. Send some memes in about Dave and, and AVL at the, at the shitters or, you know, follow drivers. <laughs> I, love that. I, love that I, I love that one. I love that one of me in the, uh, at the toilet bowl. That was very, Asking very the good. Like what strategy they're running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a bit funny. of that. We need to keep – we need to look out for each other. You know, have something to laugh about each day. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I don't know if you guys saw, I'm now on TikTok. That's how bored I am oh, already. Wow. That was – I saw your <laughs> first one. Dude, that was <laughs> – so average, it's not funny. I don't know. <laughs> but look, Your kids you know, are in it, so I was like, I can't go too hard on you. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah, that's right. But, you know, I think it's the important thing. We need to, you know, try to keep it, you know, look after each other, look out for each other to, you know, keep our spirits up because it is going to be tough. doesn't matter yeah, what industry you're tough. in. Nah. It's yeah, going to exactly. be hard but everywhere. We saw Qantas dropped, you know. Mate, there's a huge knock-on effect about the whole economy stuff because yep. my understanding is it's been all massive. We've been in a huge, huge bubble the last sort of, I don't know, as long as I can remember. And it's all sort of undoing itself now. So it's it's going to get a lot worse, I think, before it gets any better. Yeah. Yep. Stock markets crash. But what if I was the government and this was happening, I would... As in the Prime Minister or the government? Whoever. Whoever makes decisions. <laughs> I'd, be, <laughs> I'd be shutting the stock market so no one loses money. Um, but then no one has access to money. So, But then close off all the banking system. So reduce the rates down to zero. Um, make no one pay any of their loans back so no one has to pay any rent and no one has to pay their mortgage off and then that way the banks don't have to pay and make a, make a deal with the reserve bank um, so the banks don't have to pay the reserve bank and then it's kind of net nil then no one has to no one's stressing about payments anything mm. like that take yeah. care of all the bills and keep the um, if they wanted to go into lockdown I'm, I'm talking about um, then keep the bare essentials open supermarket and stuff and then I don't know there'll be that w- that would be the only thing the government would have to almost pay for is just people's general necessities to live. Yep. And then you can float through this period and then when they spark it all back up again, turn everything back on, everything goes back to as it was almost and without this massive but when huge is that, fear when coming. But when is that is the issue? Well, it doesn't oh, matter as long as... Well, it is. It does matter if it's 18 months. Well, well as long it's as everyone not going to be 18 months. 
I like, think everyone agrees. I mean, it'll, but what's we'll be killing still... people now? There's people going to die from suicide. I can tell you. People like they're losing money hand over fist. They've lo- they're losing their jobs. Yeah. It's getting absolutely bloody crazy out there. It's it's beyond a joke. Or, or even people don't die, their lives are going to be destroyed. Exactly, by it. Yeah. exactly right, exactly I mean, right. Which is not it's super sad. Not great either. It is more you know, people will probably die from that than the actual the virus itself. Well, Let's get back to talking about some good stuff. We yeah, spoke about yeah, briefly about some. Depressing. I hate talking <laughs> about yeah, shit. Yeah, but what I, I hate is that coronavirus, like twenty four seven on the news. Yeah. Da, 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 and you got to keep, just, you know, you, I mean, obviously we want it gets you so down, so depressed. You're like, Ugh. We, yeah, we want to. You, you want to keep on touch of what's going on, but I think you've got to do it in a controlled manner. But w- what has been done in a very good manner is our friend Darren Harvey on Facebook put up. What um, <laughs> Uh, absolute ripper he actually came up with two really really good ones we we posted one the other day of dave reynolds the scrooge mcduck the asshole how good was oh, that swimming the in the coins yeah, yeah. Swimming, that's just, literally just, what dave's doing at the moment i don't know because he hasn't got any money in bitcoin so he's no dramas there. i got a little bit bugger all there <laughs> not as much yeah. as ryan walkinshaw <laughs> man imagine if we'd all jumped on his advice the <laughs> other day <laughs> bitcoin, be, uh, has that gone up no, no. Oh, wait, oh man it crashed hard it oh, crashed hard like halved its should value. we yeah. call him oh. <laughs> Give him shit. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's... Um, I mean, how's your Bitcoin going? But yeah, so um, Darren, thank you very much for sending something in. No. You are the winner of the Maxis Cookies of the Week. So thank you very much. We're going to send you out a box of cookies. Can I win um, that? Because I'm, I'm desperate well, send for us in a meme. I've send been us something in all in, week. Do something on social media. Send it to us. And, that, and that's to everybody. Please send us something in. Um, you know, Meme of the Week. <laughs> Well, it, well we're Maxis getting, meme of the week. We're giving away. We're giving away some cookies. I mean, and at the moment, those high protein cookies are going to yeah. go a long way. Yeah, oh, no. especially What's when the no use one's by eating. date on those babies. Do they oh, last a while? Mate, yeah, six they, months or something. They've mate, got a while. Yeah. They, they definitely won't last six months when you get a box of them. No, they don't <laughs> last six months. Trust me. <laughs> yes, mate, you're That's a good you'll be idea. smashing them in a week. I'm so. stock up. But yeah, look, send us stuff in. It's uh, we got to we got to find ways to keep each other. Laughing and smiling, Dave. Mm. Dave's too serious to get on TikTok, but he'll swear like buggery on TV. So, because nah, I just it's, um, I can't afford it, get fined anymore. <laughs> 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 not until the stock market bounces back. Anyway. Not until no. his new stocks then, bounce back. The only thing that's keeping me swearing. afloat is the dollar keeps dropping, and the American ones aren't too bad. Boys, more good news because I only like talking good news. Beauty, right? Yep. We have a naming rights sponsor. For the co-drivers cup. Oh, you you. Yes. <laughs> it's gotten uh, I'm pretty excited. I mean, if the series does go ahead in June, the co-drivers will actually be the first drivers back yeah. in the car. Hey? Eh? And and I think that's right. We're good leaders. I mean, you look at some of the co-drivers out there, the leadership skills. Who are, are you talking about? Myself. <laughs> oh my god. That's a <laughs> but let's, let, no, but, uh, let's that's just imagine if we start at Bathurst. Imagine our first race back is Bathurst. The first thing is a co-driver session at Mount Panorama. Is it really? Is it the first is ba- no, the nah, first nah. session's no, no, no. Isn't it? It's the big dogs. Well, I say make it a co-driver well, session. Big, and let's kick dogs. off the That'd co-driver cup at Mount Panorama. That'd be huge. When it, well, it's the good thing is we've um, Ryko have jumped on board with us. Yep. They've jumped on board on the show. And, um, and they're going to sponsor us. They're gonna awesome <laughs> job. Well done, boys. So, yeah. good job. Oh, how good? I mean... They're going to actually come up with a trophy, so they're going to we're going to get a trophy made out, out of Ryko parts. So yeah, Ryko filters. Filter? Yep. Uh, I don't know. I think they're going to make something. Determined. They're going to make something. They're, they're pretty excited they got, about they're it. They're pretty creative down there at Ryko. So mm. but, I mean, we make we we dropped in and had a look at the office, and uh, they've actually got a wall that's probably I don't know. I'd be. 15, 10 by 10. Yeah, 10 by 10, and it's literally Ryko all made in 10 filters. It's pretty cool. It's actually. Yeah, pretty it's really impressive. Cool. It, really, it really cool. It would be bloody heavy, though, I would have thought. I wouldn't want to fall <laughs> on you. <laughs> no. So, um, yeah, they, they're coming on. They're going to sponsor the Co-Drivers Cup. We're, we're going to do some great things, so be on the lookout for that. Yeah. Um, it's uh, I'm excited about the Co-Drivers Cup. The way Tickford's form has been already, I mean, well, I know we've only been to two tracks. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, looking good. Will Davis is going good. good. Yeah. He's yeah. going very good. The, and, and didn't he come out, actually? I think you might have written the story. Wrote um, the story. Wrote the story. Written. Uh, what's yeah, the what's the correct terminology? Wrote the story. Right, well, fine. Thanks. Dave. No, I wrote the story. You may have written the story. Yeah. No, yeah, you're right. I think good. I'm right. Oh, Depends. <laughs> you might have the coronavirus. Um, <laughs> I am sweating a bit. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's the line. Is sweat. that one of the symptoms? Oh well, fever. Can I, yeah. Can I get a lift back with you, Caruso? Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not too sure. <laughs> you actually are. Look at you. I'm sweating up. Yeah. It's all good. 
Um, What's got, what else going yeah, on? No, well, saying that, didn't Davo come out saying, you know, because I know within the team last year, everybody was saying, oh, it's bullshit. Mustang's got an advantage. That's why Tickford are going good. Um, but did they're, they're did out, last year. But, I, but they're, they're still firing this year. They're still going very I, good. I, did, I didn't write the story, but I know what you're referring to. And, yeah, like just the basic premise of it, this wasn't about Mustang last year. And part of it was about Mustang last year. Yeah, yeah, part. Part of it was about Mustang yeah. for sure. <laughs> and that was what always – but, like, I get what you're saying is in terms of it always seemed – I think it, it, it exaggerated the Mustang effect because they'd had a pretty ordinary 2018, 2018 yeah, and then exactly. suddenly they were like going like the clappers again, yeah, and it yeah. was easy to go, well... That's everyone was saying in pit lane, look of, at those guys. Yeah. They went from nowhere to up to front. Because that was so. the thing. you know, Penske went from being good to being good. No, they went from being good, good to, being, to being amazing. To being unstoppable, yeah. but yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, Tickford went from being pretty average... No to, offense, to but that's good. that's how it was to being. Great. Oh, hang on, they're actually in the game here. Yeah, and some of that, some of that. Remember that this is a sport. This is you know human performance on As some well. level. So yeah. not the, much. The though. confidence, <laughs> no, but it is. But it, it's the confidence of going on gut instinct with setups. Like if you start yeah, going well, you start exactly. going oh good. So maybe having a platform that gives you that first step, it gives you the, like, so it inspires you to take the second step. And that's oh, probably exactly, what we're yeah. seeing now, you Perfect. know, like you're Pretty on a roll. Good analogy. Yeah. We're seeing a team that's uh, that's enjoying enjoying the fact that it's in form yep. and the drivers are enjoying. I mean, what a difference to turn up knowing you are a chance to finish on the podium as opposed to turning up going, if we have a really good weekend, I might come 12th. Yeah, that's right. Huge difference, you know. Uh, so I think, I think that's yeah. what we're seeing this year is the continuation of, of, of just a good, an informed team. On that, then do you think Penske are in the opposite end? I mean... They, it's weird. I mean, they, it's really hard to tell because, like, you wouldn't. Say, they're not. They're not the best. Well, I mean, you'd at the moment looking on paper, you'd say Tickford are the only are the team that are challenging Triple Eight, who are it seems like at least more than a step ahead of everybody. But, else. but I mean, they're, but I mean, they're right up there. Scott won a race and leads the championship as well. So yeah, you know, I like mean, that, that, that. But I know. I for mean, a at, the, at, at, at the Grand obviously. Prix, we've only had one round. At the, so. Yeah, and at the Grand Prix, they definitely the, 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 the it sort of they. Felt a long way off the triple eight cars, yeah, for mm. sure. But it's so hard to tell. It's it so is. hard to tell. It's only, and the Grand Prix is such a unit. And we talked about that the other week. You know, you couldn't go to three more different places to start the season, to start a regular season. Yeah. So yeah. like, <laughs> so it's yeah. kind of um, it's so you can go to the Grand Prix and go bad, but that doesn't mean your years up shit Over. creek. It yeah, just exactly. means that. On this Mate, usually s- unique circuit. No, I'm going swearing. York. <laughs> we're, we're going. <laughs> There's something going I on. Know, I was, I was, uh, it's doomsday. I was, out yeah, there. That's oh, why. Don't say that. I was, uh, I was, yeah. It's time to just bugger it. Who cares? But, but okay, <laughs> then, so saying that, like, you know, obviously you've got Tickford on one end who are being competitive, yep. virtually on, maybe not the fastest team, but they're very competitive. Then Penske, it feels like maybe they've, they mm-hmm. haven't, they're definitely a step back from where they were last year. And then you've got Triple Eight who are two steps ahead then. Yeah, because they it's, are. it's still so hard to tell on Penske because well, they might have come out the next morning and gone well. On, on, on Friday morning, gone yep. well. You know, like it was... Um, but it definitely felt like those uh, those Red Bull cars, they, if the they, Grand Prix meeting gone ahead, were going to be real hard to beat. Yeah. I mean, gonna, that, and, 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 and we talk about confidence. Jamie Winkup whacks the wall. They stick a new wheel on it. And he goes, yep, that's fine. That's fixed it. And he goes out and sticks it on pole. <laughs> when was this? That he hit the wall in the first of those two qualifying sessions. Where? At the Grand Prix? Yeah. Really? Where yeah. he hit the wall? I didn't it see came, that. It was coming, I think it was coming on. Oh, to yeah, two turns, seven, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Was that in no, practice? I thought that was in like, practice. Wasn't it coming out of 10? No, no, it was in the first qualifying session. That's why he's like sixth in the first qualifying session. And then he comes in going, oh, it feels a bit wobbly at the front. And then they go, hopefully it's just a rim. We'll stick a new wheel on it. Ben. Pole. Pole. Yeah. New beauty. No, nice he's on. Though. But they. I mean, really, they would have been, very good, they yeah. been two from two at, yeah, yeah, yeah. at Adelaide. Like, they were yeah. that quick. And I reckon he was – you talked about sandbagging. He was cruising on Saturday at Adelaide. Mm-hmm. And then Sunday, went Van Gisberg and lit it up when yeah, he had yeah, to yeah. go once he had, you know, did the pit stop, whatever. On, on the um, sad day, I had my ring hanging out trying to, like, just hold pace with him on the sad day race. And he just blew my doors off quick. and hardly yeah, looked quick. like he was trying. Yeah. And I was just had my r- asshole hanging out. And I was – this, yeah, this struggling, is very struggling. <laughs> the name of this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, what? Had my asshole hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Had my asshole. Was, hanging it, was out. it blue? Was it? Was, it was hanging my ring out. What was it? What was the hanging first? Hanging my thing? ring out. Yeah, had my ring out. <laughs> hanging I my don't ring know. Out. <laughs> but yeah, look, they were quick, very, very quick. Do you remember as a kid? And like, oh no. <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> did you ever fall off your bike and like skid across the ground and it felt like your 
your butthole like torn. Like you get that burning sensation. Did you ever have? That? I would have had that. I can growing honestly up in the say that never happened. No. Really? No. I fell off plenty of bikes in my time. Yeah, and maybe no point. Me. My knees. I've got scars on my knees and elbows. Hundred yeah. percent. Because we used to we used to tie this like little cart to a back of a bicycle and tow it around and stuff and like really really get the whip going. And sometimes you couldn't hang on, so you'd fall off the little cart and skid across the ground. And on one your day, ass. I, and one day I slid across on my ass, and like it felt like it burnt my asshole somehow. Like I don't know, what am I saying? What are you? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, <day. laughs> oh, oh, no gas chamber though. Don't 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 get me wrong. Anyway, what, where do you think chamber? the? Vo- oh, no, remember his cardboard gas chamber game they used to play? Oh. We nearly killed a friend of mine. <laughs> He'd be suffering these days. What type of tarmac was it? You know, you. No, nah, it was bricks. We had bricks. Where you slid off? Yeah. What do you mean on driveway? On bricks? driveway, yeah, it was bricks. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not concrete up there Not in concrete. Albury. No, no, we had expensive driveway. <laughs> yeah, shit, that would. Well, I didn't know this as a kid, did I? But that it was expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we dug them up and stuff, and just. Well, I was a terrible son. I feel sorry for my family. Does your mum and dad listen to this? I don't know. Probably. Hopefully. Wait, well, actually, I hope they don't. Now. Apologize I love you, Mum and Dad. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you've you give me the best childhood ever, and that's probably why I'm such a fuck up as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think coronavirus comes from? Actually, come from? Well, there's plenty of theories out there. I actually had a mate, and I hope he listens to this. He was trying to tell me the reason it uh, that's happened is because they want to create a cashless society. He's a Bitcoin buyer. I don't know. <laughs> He's a flat earther, probably. He's a flat earther. <laughs> They've actually got a cashless society in um in Sweden. Do they? Yep, basically cashless these days. Yep. But we're almost cashless. Almost, There's yeah. No, but you can still have a lot of pub. cash. It, but in Sweden, it's not. Though, if you go to the pub and buy a beer, no, won't accept cash. Mm. Only card. What I heard... For the, Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> theories. Oh, this is my favourite part of the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I've heard many. Um, lately, the one I'm running with is because, you know, Trump took so much power off China... It's this. It's that. This is their way of getting back at them by starting because by well, starting I, it in China by starting in China and then spreading it to the world. Um, so starting theories with your are own that, people. Well, it's effectively yes, possibly. Um, theories are that the Chinese actually have a vaccine, but they just don't want to release it yet. Even to until, their own people. Well, the world's not at their knees yet, are they? Well, yeah, they're the biggest power. Are they the biggest? They're the biggest money. Money power, aren't they? The what? This is the Chinese and, and America. And there's nothing coming out of Russia, is there? Nothing. Is there? There's no cases, no nothing. I don't know. So the Chinese are obviously clearly in with Russia. I've followed it closely. Is Have there you? nothing in China? I mean, sorry, in Russia? Not that I know of, yeah. I don't think there's much, yeah. See, there you go. Confirmed. A <laughs> Confirmed theory. <laughs> Boom. Uh, what's another theory I've heard? Come on. You would have heard something. I got no. no I told you my cash society. I, I laughed. That's, I yeah, chuckled. That's, that's a decent one. Didn't um, I? I did hear oh, though that there soup. was a vaccine and Trump tried to buy it, but only for Americans. Yeah, that, that's a there. Thing. You go. So that's the, a thing. Is yeah, that a I thing? Is that real? Thing. Yeah, I, don't I, know I think so. so. Again, I'm, I'm not. I'm has not to be from a, China. An authority. No, it was from Germany. No, no. Yeah, was that's right. It was Germany, and he was yeah trying to buy it off them by the um, IP. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it may be. Patent. Patent. Rather. Yeah, that's one. And the, um, the disease is patent too, apparently. Is it? Apparently, I don't know. Must be. Everything's patent these days. Yeah, well, I don't know if you can be making the virus money from, or. Well, you could make money, but yeah, look, it, it, that's yeah, <laughs> that's the one. I, that's the other one I heard, and yeah. he was trying to buy it, but only for Americans, and then sell it off to everybody else. Yeah, yeah. You got to follow. But the then, money ev- wouldn't everybody? The only one that falls away from that is if he did that. If everyone else just said, "Right, we're not going to, um, you know, we're going to shut down and not not deal with America anymore." Yeah. That they'd be up shit creek as well. Yeah. Well, that's that plays into Trump's hands, doesn't it? No, because if no one exp- you know, no one but trades he, with America, then what are they gonna do? He wants to like he if wants there's to, no oil he wants coming to start in up from manufacturing anyway. do his own stuff anyway. He never wanted to that's why he put all the trade um tariffs and everything in place. Did he? Originally he did, yeah. What he reckons he can operate com- without anyone else in the w- like no other Well that's what they assume, yeah. I don't know. He's got four more years, so we better get used to him. No, actually, isn't an election year? Exactly. Every generally, a new virus comes out every election year. Yeah, mm. whether that, it's Ebola, that's another SARS, theory. Zika. That's another theory. I've seen um, that. There's just there's so much. Every every two years, there's basically a new virus that comes out. That do, 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 do. this is very different to the yeah, this, this is or yeah. One. yeah this is not SARS or something like that. Feels pretty different at this point. Ebola, Ebola. Apparently, the, the death rate of Ebola was like 
like 30 or 40 50 percent or something it was yeah. quite high but it's about it's about but the it, it didn't affect how anyone infectious it is yeah. and how easy to contract it is, is yeah that, that's the that's the issue well this one's a flu type virus they're quite scary oh man yeah, I'm you're, just think, you're thinking flipping. lots about it, and I don't know if it's because you're sitting next to Avial, you're getting a little bit hot. I am. You knew he was he was probably talking to Saints or someone in in McLaren. Did you? Did you actually Wednesday, get in contact actually, did you, with anyone? Did you actually talk to any McLaren people? Oh, I didn't. No, no. <laughs> no well, I think actually, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to do that many uh, F1 sessions. So uh, one of them was um, one of them was actually I did the two uh, Alfa Romeo drivers. So I did uh, yeah, Antonio Alpha. and uh, Kimi. But like we had to, we had like an exclusion zone. Was oh, was so it, you were like a meter it, and a yeah. half. Was it like in those social distancing? Yeah. So we were uh, so all the journos were like crammed together, but there was a they were sitting behind like or they were sitting at a table. It was really weird because normally they'd be around table those sorts yep. of things. You go, you normally not go into the hospitality unit and you all sit around a table. And in this one, it was like more like a press conference sort of thing where they sort of sat at the front. The drivers were sitting at the front, um, and you sort of put your Stick the phone down and then you'd talk to them like that. It was very... Uh, it wasn't it was like, very in, you know, those cabs when everyone back in the day was getting stabbed in taxis and stuff and they had those like glass... Oh, yeah. The those glass seats. like E-cells around it's them. It's basically like what, <laughs> what you guys race in now. Yeah. Like this big sort of protection set. <laughs> the Pope Mobile. The E-cell. That's what yeah. you the guys Pope, have, isn't it, it? The Pope runs around in that sort of like glass... Yeah, it's a special car, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Pope Mobile. Hey, how, how was the TCR car around Albert Park to drive? Did it feel... I mean, that's a big wide circuit... Oh. I was surprised how fast they were, yeah, and I'm okay. not taking yeah. the pissy. I, yeah. We, when what we times there, you roll? Uh, we did a four. I did a four eight. Fifty four. A two o four. Two o four. Okay. Yep. Um, so when, ten but, seconds off us. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually isn't that. For uh, how much point for, power a, they for got? a long track? Yeah, a th- long that's track. All, that was that's the all like momentum straight yeah. line. You know, obviously they're not yeah, fast wheeler. in a straight line. Yeah. Um, What's top speed? Good question. You don't even know, do Very you? good question. You don't even know. That, well, that I mean, face says, you know, I, don't know. I mean, I haven't got a, I haven't got a speedo. Well, supercar is probably about two fifty. Yeah, I don't know. I, to be honest, I don't, never, re- I've never had a speedo. Do you I've get never to really six gear? Yes, oh, got to six gear. Okay, but that's dependent on your gear ratios, isn't it? Well, they're all the same for you, aren't they? You don't change gearboxes. No, we don't. No. No, so you just work out. Okay, okay. When top of fifth, but I'm we're talking good relative to a supercar. No, I'm just telling. What's your top speed? Oh, uh, yeah. Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, and yeah, be because well, why would I look at my top speed? I don't know. It's obviously it's never not going fast, fast enough. enough. Exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> Is it fun, buddy? You enjoying? It's uh, actually a lot. He's of on fun. pole. Of course, yeah. he's enjoying it. Yeah. No, no. It actually, you would love driving these cars, and I really? think a lot of the drivers would. I mean, the one thing that's a little bit. Difficult, or uh, sorry, one thing that's different, very different from a supercar is they are obviously front wheel drive, as we know. So you've got to to extract the speed out of them. You've got to drive them quite different from a supercar. I mean, so, obviously yeah. with the turbo included, um, yeah. our thing's a bit laggy. So you have to you, get on the gas super early. Well, you, you're getting on it abnormally early, like yeah, but it's not kicking before the in. apex. So basically. yeah, I mean, I was yeah. going through that first session thinking, you know. This is sort of what I think I need to do, and then every corner you'd be like, "Oh, I need to do that. I need to like." So, I'm, you know, still learning a lot about how to um, how to get the most out of the car. But they're, they're very, very twitchy, like yep. really twitchy, which makes it again. It, there's a lot more, lot more going on in the car. I mean, I know everybody talks about me smashing the gear on, but I felt like I was working working the steering wheel bearings off flat out in qualifying. You do so, anyway. Nah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no, no, why Ace, mate. we always mate, used to look I'm, at I'm their urine as a baby's <laughs> ass on that steering. Um, How many coffees did you have before qualifying? No, no, no. Just a double shot espresso, but uh, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> but it, they are, they're actually really fun to drive. The, the, the hard oh. thing to know is, I mean, we spoke all last year about parity, mm. but in, in this category, there's some cars that are clearly better in some locations and other yep. cars on track. So mm. from it's my like understanding. GT. That's cool. Yeah. Sort of like that. But and, and I think that sort of opens up the, you know, the racing side. You know, the cars will be different at different circuits in different spots. And I think from speaking to Will Brown, your co driver, mm. um Swill. The Swill. He um he was saying to me that their thing's got like a lot of downforce. So, you know, it's obviously gonna be a little bit better around corners, but maybe not as quick down the straights. But Tanda's yep. thing, the the Audi shit, that thing had some mumbo. Like it was yeah. He was arm out the window, no dramas. Like I got behind him in qualifying, and he yeah, yeah he was very very good in the straight line. But it, I'm Not enjoying it. it. It's actually lots yeah, of fun, yeah. and um, hopefully, 
if the 500 goes ahead at the end of the year at Bathurst and we have a few of you guys jump in as well, I think yeah, you'll, be, um, you'll be pleasantly surprised about... How much fun, especially yeah. on that track. They're, they're good. I mean, it's... um Yeah. I mean, left-hand drive, my thing. I don't, I don't know what the... Hyundai is or they're all left hand drive, I think, aren't they? Are they? Oh, I think there's a few right hand drive hookers. cars. We call them left hookers in the industry. Left hookers? Yep. Hook in from the left. Ah, oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so are you on the market? Are you on the market for the TCR race? Oh are you officially on the market? I don't know. It depends on if I get if I'm allowed to do it or not. I don't know. It's all a bit Why wouldn't you be allowed? Oh you know, the the inter oh, right. I do know, but I'm just like, there yeah, why the the hell, why the hell would we restrict yeah. Trade. Like, uh, oh yeah, again. Uh, no, but that, there, there shouldn't be any. There should, unless that, that would only be a team thing. I mean, Chaz was going to do it this year. Yeah, well, there's, well, there's, there's been a, point. everyone knows, and it's been an unspoken thing. And I know a few people might get upset, but there's been people stopping drivers from driving mm. so much in last year's categories. So much, yeah. yeah, last year. Yeah, um, which is a bit disappointing that because hasn't if, happened if it was year. in a <laughs> you know if, the, if everyone put the shoe on the other foot. And said, "Well, you can't deal with these. You know, you can't deal with other drivers because you deal with me. Yeah. You can quickly imagine how that would turn around. Yeah. So, um, we're just drivers. We we just want to drive everything. We're, drive we just, cars. There's a wheelie bin over there, and you put a race on. I guarantee yeah, you'd have wink up there, and you'd probably flog us all anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? Like, we, that's yeah. what we want to do. We just love. He's a bastard, and that and that's probably something we haven't touched on. You know." W- Driving is what we love doing, right? We, yep. we love doing we love that competing. and that feeling of driving a race car. And being on pole and winning. Being on pole, winning, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's super hard to replicate. Um, and I know you're about to start something new potentially, um, a different type of racing that you maybe are not so fond of. What are we talking about? Esports, baby. Esports. <laughs> Tell us your real, tell us your opinion. Honestly, jokes aside, because like nah, I said, I mean, we we know how you feel about it. I mean, yeah. and you, you've never shied away from it, but it's I've it's hard, the thing I find it. hard about, it, and it's a, I think it's a good concept that they're actually trying to do something. Well, the while longer, we've got yeah. nothing on, no, to I, be honest, I get I, it. It's taken me. Obviously, I got the news a few days ago that we're going to do this. It's taken me a f- since then. The sort of more I think about it, the more I am comfortable with it. Yeah. At the start, I was just. Not happy at all. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I understand for the good of the sport and it keeps me employed, I suppose, and even though I'm terrible at it. Like, just yeah. so, so, so bad, it's actually laughable. As long as we don't have to take it super serious and there's no prize money but involved mate, or anything like that. how can you like say that? that when you involve race car drivers? Yeah, I know, because I already know I'm form. that bad I at it. I spoke to you know. about how if we had a wheelie bin race outside, yeah, I know, we'd be but running. Like, I actually... Now. Yeah, but just hear me out. I actually know that I'm that bad at it, and I'm I haven't played it much. I'm years behind the curve as far as some of the other blokes go, and it's yeah. It's so there's an esports excuse book as well already. <laughs> oh, he's of course, oh my god! Of course, straight you're, you're, it. You come straight. You're blowing it. me you. away today. <laughs> <laughs> never seen it. Yeah, well, he's got a faster internet connection. We already know uh, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't he's know. He's got a better setup. Jokes aside, oh, is, do you know much about? I know nothing I about know. racing so, online. I've talked a bit about guys because there's um there's been talk from some of the guys talk about the really good sim races because like the really good real life races, even the ones who are good sim races, there's still sim races out there that are that whip the shit out of them. Yeah, yeah, all the time. And you talk about like what the um I was talking to someone about this. I I will remember who it was at some point. Uh, actually, no, I was talking to Anton about it. That's exactly who I was talking to about it. The sim like, racer how, himself. How do you how do you find like what is the difference? And a lot of it's just time. Yeah, so I said, I said, oh, what's, I said, what's the go? If, like, if you make Surprising. setup changes, do they do they correlate to real life, or no. uh, is there some sort of funky setup you might stumble across somewhere and it makes your car go like a jet? Yep. And he said, that's exactly it. So he said, the good guys will just sit there changing everything oh. one degree at a time. Go out, does it feel better? And eventually, they just hit a setup that just makes so, the thing go like a that jet. Sounds just like, like triple eight racing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know the problem is with me. Is like yeah, okay. We know I can, many of the problems. I have many problems, but especially with that sort of stuff, I get I get sick. I physically feel sick. Oh, like motion. I get sort of massively sickness, motion like sickness from the whole thing. Yeah. So all the screens and everything, it does my head in. My brain can't compute. You know, it it's it's trying to work does out the whole thing. Simulate a move. Is the one that well you guys at, use? at work it does, but I got them to turn it off the other day, and it was my my feeling was a little bit better. Um, yep. But I did probably five or six laps, and I was packing it in like I, I was done. Uh, um, I would. What, I was where dizzy, were you feeling sick. Well, well, where'd you, where'd oh, you I, 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 I could do a lap. I did a lap. 
com- we're at. completed a lap Phillip Island, like an actual decent lap I was happy with. I was three seconds off the pace. And um, I was actually proud of myself, to be fair. It, I it's really funny. was. It's, it's very different. I mean, oh, it's, we it's spoke very, about very it different. We spoke it on about it because, like, in, in the real car, you got the feeling of the tires <laughs> yep. moving, of the sound, the you yeah, know, all totally the reference different. points. You got the fear, everything. In this thing, you got nothing. Yeah, it's it's just, so totally right. No, there's nothing. That's the thing. You I hit the fence. Ah, oh, just press, press reset. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's a lot cheaper. cheaper. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, you say that. I'll tell you what. Some of the uh, some of the um, Money that people spend on, uh, spend yes. on, uh, dude. On, some of them are thirty thing. odd grand. Yeah, to like get a decent. What the setup. actual whole simulator? Yeah, well, our, our at work is probably a de- it's probably a good hundred plus maybe. Oh, but well, like it's, a, it's, it's is, got yeah, it's got some expensive. nice very it's very nice stuff in there, but nothing to do with the you know the processor. That's you get a very good processor, and that's part of the expensive part. But to, tell me this to sort of have a better engine than everyone type. Will thing. that come into play though? I mean, we know how much oh, having probably, the right equipment exactly. Dude, it's is yeah, important. Yeah, well, your racing. gear like, will make a uh, make make it. actually. I'll give a shout out to um, a guy called Brock Craig who loves to listen to the show. He's my brother-in-law's brother. His sim set up over in Perth. Brother-in-law's yeah. brother. Yeah, okay, think yeah. about it. Yeah, Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, my good. sister's husband's brother. Yeah. Okay, no, they just confused um, me. So his sim, <laughs> with his sim setup, and I've told him this a million times, he could have just gone and bought a Formula Ford. Oh, and like really? gone racing. And you know, like the, the sort of money that they spend yeah, to make yeah. to, and, I, and I guess the difference is you spend it over time because you start with something and then you go, oh, okay, there's a better one of those. I'll go get yeah, one of those and this yeah, and that. Okay, but yeah. you are talking tens of thousands, not hundreds or thousands of but dollars. The, you the, can do it at that level, but yeah. there's some of the money that's going in, and then when you get on those motion sims like you're talking about, that's where you're talking about hundreds of thousands of Yeah, that's of dollars. expensive. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, but I, can, I, I can tell you right now, the chicks don't want to be with a professional sim racer. <laughs> you sure? Pretty sure. Dude, don't say some of these... They, 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 they can't. Cash. People get they paid cash. I don't care. Cash. Yeah. They, don't, they can't smell the fear in the driver. There's no fear to be smelled. Do you? What does sm- the fear... I would imagine... Oh, I don't ask when them, I smell they know you at it. the moment, I don't smell fear. Yeah. I, I'm not racing. I, I smell coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I've... St- I've stood, I've stood next to plenty of race car drivers when they've hopped out of race cars, and they don't smell like fear. You know, they smell know, the like what do they smell like when they come out of the toilet? You know the old, well, yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> you know the old saying. Depends they, what they went in for, I suppose. That's the. Uh, there's an old saying: they can smell the driver on him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can smell it, right? It's usually sweat, oh, or if it's been a good day, it's sweat it's and fi- stale It's the fear. The f- you can smell the fear. Nah, yeah, it, no, that's the thing. It's I mean, like a me, dog or a I, horse. I, they I, know whether they're going to well, freak you do out. A lot of Maybe that's your problem. Is that what happens? So someone gets, you know, Giz comes up behind you, and he goes, I can smell the fear from this It probably plane. does. Yeah. You wouldn't say that to someone. Would you walk up behind the driver and say that? No. Do it. Let do, do it next round. I'd anthem. smell the bullshit on their mouth. <laughs> the next, 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 time, they next time speak. you're lined up for the anthem, right, at one of the races, whoever you're sitting and behind Jack on Smith's the grid. Sitting there. Oh, I love just, him. He's uh, my favourite. <laughs> just, favorite just, driver just ever. sniff on the neck and just go, I can smell the fear on you. He'd you probably won't. Do it next. <laughs> That'll wait, really put Do it next off. round in 2021. Uh, yeah, do, yeah, yeah, exactly. Do next that. round. I hope it's not next round. Do it at the eSports race. First race. I can smell it. Well, I don't think we're going to be in the same arena. I think it's going to be from home. So we're all going to be at home. So I oh, don't know how isolation. they're going to tell it. Well, I, I assume so, wouldn't you? They're not going to fly us around and so waste all this money. So we won't get to hear from you. Oh, we'll get to hear, but we won't get to oh, see Dude, you. I have no idea Will what's in store. Will you be just sitting in your undies with a, Absolutely. Packet, with a packet of twisties, uh, Mars yeah. bar? Now, now I'm going E-Series racing. Those potato chips are looking mighty tasty. <laughs> mm. And then Mars bars and all that stuff. I'm gonna, I've given up training. We haven't because we actually went for a ride the other day. Yeah, we did. We You're did. training more than ever. Actually, all these race car drivers are bored at well, the moment, aren't they? You've got to get it done while you can. Well, I, I, I'm actually training because the end of the year is going to be so busy if we start back up again oh. that, you know, if I, if I, I mean, was to if give you, up if I was to give up being fit for this, you know, three months or whatever, it, I would struggle to get to every race because, you know, you can get through the races as a driver being unfit, but the recovery time for me personally, it takes longer it's, every, it's every time. It's funny you bring that up. That, that, that actually makes me think. You know, we talk about in the off season you lose that race fitness. We're about yeah. to go through another off season, as long longer, as a bigger off season. I would yeah. imagine three Much months. Off season. And and rolling into what, what does Dick Johnson call Winton? Um, it's like going around your clothesline. Yeah, yeah, it's actually a bloody line, hard yeah. place. Yeah, to it's drive the, like, one of the hardest tracks for two hundred k race. You are absolutely shattered flogged. at the end. It, yeah, you wouldn't flogged. think it, would you? But no. it, it actually it's not much of a straight there, is it? Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Do you pull six? You can, yeah, you can. Yeah, in quality. No, you can most times. Yeah. Big motor. Big motor. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Um, tell me about this. Just last on this esport, mm. will you guys cover it, or how's it going to work? Yeah, oh, we're going to need something to uh, to talk, something about. to write about. So yeah, absolutely. I think it's that's probably going to be one of the big winners of this whole thing. Is sports like that? It's going to kind of uh, we've got a real opportunity to go out and uh, and get some eyeballs. So yeah, it's something that we'll definitely, particularly with everyone's real world, under, uh, everyone's understanding of the whole situation, aren't yeah, they? So yeah. they go, oh, okay, that it's probably it's not the best idea. But it's an idea, so we can roll along with it. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know what has been be a happy. great idea? What? Our website is live. <laughs> live. You're such an idiot. Um, and you can get... Uh, look at those hats. Look at that. You can get... They're actually really hats. good quality hats. Do, uh, made hats. in America, so I'm uh, not any, sure about if they're going to come here none, in the next uh, couple of months. <laughs> well, they're not made in China, so they'll... They're made in America. No, China's American. good now. That's easy. easy. Oh, so it's China, everything's all right? Yeah, China's fired back up again. Um, we'll, what, we'll have toilet paper back again? Do we... Well, um, no, all the toilet paper's made here. That's uh, where any of us sort of flat cap, flat peak cap... No, we're going to give this to Waters, because... Yeah, that is a very... You uh, can tuck his ears in and wear it backwards and... Done for him. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, so jump online, blowthebonnet.com.au. Um, we've got condoms. I meant iPhone condoms. I mean <laughs> uh, we've got all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can get the, the 2019 Co-Drivers Cup. Yep, just like Garth Tander has at home. I bet you he drinks from it every day. Has to. What do you Our faces what do you he's, he's drinking from. <laughs> <laughs> um, T-shirts, yeah, hats. Uh, yeah, have a bit of fun with it. Um, yeah, send us in some photos when you... When you get your stuff, and uh, yeah, like I said, it's um, let's just band around each other. I mean, please yeah. feel free to send us in mm. some stuff, and I we'll think share we'll be doing, it. And we'll be doing plenty more of this stuff. While yeah, got time. I mean, let's do. Absolutely. Let's get a few people on, and, and then send us some just suggestions, suggestions yeah. of who yeah. you'd like to who see, and, see, and we'll yeah. try to get. Them. I mean, clearly not Wink Up because he ain't flying down here. Nah, let's get He'll Mick Malloy on. Talk to him. Mick Malloy, yeah, yeah, he yeah. said he always come I was on. Watching on the front bar last. He's night. a legend, eh? What's with his the haircut? The world felt a little bit normal for a second. You know, <laughs> watching the front bar, the footy's coming. They're going, they're going ahead, aren't they're they? They're going to try. Good on them. Try. IG. Yeah, I applaud that. We need something. Yeah, we just need something, said. even if it Let's doesn't last done. that long. So you reckon my idea will work? Your idea will work. Definitely. Would you sit down on a midweek night to watch? TCR. Some, um, I'd some watch TCR. Action. Absolutely. As long as long as Married First Sight isn't on on there. Watch the canoes. The S five thousands go around. Yeah. We're going to need something, so I'll definitely be watching it. All right, boys. Well, thanks for coming in. Um, enjoy isolation, you two, and uh, we we'll will. see you again soon. I love you, bye. <laughs>